Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use this cool inverted colors effect in Illustrator and I'm going to give you some practical ideas on how to use it in your own designs. So first let me demonstrate how to set this up. I'm going to use a text box and a shape. So first make sure your two objects are overlapping. Then you can change your color to whatever you want on at least one of your objects. Once you've got that all set, time for the magic. We're going to go up to Window and down to Transparency. That'll bring up the Transparency window. With one of your objects selected, go down from Normal and change that to Exclusion. Keep in mind you might have to change what layer your object is, and you can do this in the Layers panel. Now as you can see, there's a cool inverted color effect with our text over our shape. And by experimenting with colors, you can really bring your design to life. So now that we've learned how to do this, I'm just going to play around with this effect a little bit and try to see if I can create something pretty cool. If you paid attention in your third grade reading class, you'll know the five essential questions. Who, what, when, where, and how. And that's what I want to design with today. I'm going to play around with the colors a little bit, but I'll probably end up changing them once I get closer to the final design. Next I'm going to go to my rectangle tool and I'm going to make sure I make a black rectangle and just make a series of interesting looking rectangles. Now I'm going to change about half of these to exclusion. I think this is going to make a pretty cool background for our little piece. Again, if this isn't working for you, using the layers panel is probably going to be your best bet. So now's the fun part. I'm just going to start taking these rectangles and arranging them in random positions, and I'm duplicating them using the option key. You just hold it down and you can duplicate whatever you want with it. I'm trying to go for like the most random pattern I can, but I'm also trying to make it look pretty cool. Um, so you'll see me rearranging some things. Uh, just, you know, however I like. So I'm pretty happy with how this background looks, so I'm going to go over to my layers panel and make sure that my text is above the background. And I can make sure I include multiple layers just by pressing the shift key. Now I can drag and drop um, my text however I want. Keep in mind that this text does have the exclusion transparency setting just like some of these text boxes do and you can kind of see the interesting effects that this creates now it's just down to composition and colors I'm gonna try to make this a little more visually appealing uh, keep in mind that the font I'm using is impact bold alright I'm a little happier with that so I think I'm just gonna make some simple text in the the maybe the bottom. Um, I'll, I think I'll just use Helvetica for it. I want like a, a more thin font and keep in mind if you're looking for fonts you can use this filter at the top. So just Helvetica light will do for this. You'll notice my artboard is a little busy right now and I kinda wanna make sure it looks like how I want it when it's trimmed so I'm gonna go to view and all the way at the, at the top it says trim view and that just allows me to see everything how it should be without any clutter on the edges and there we go that's my final design you know it took me five minutes just to make something pretty interesting out of this cool effect and if you go over here this is my uh, thumbnail for this video uh, and you can see how I use the inverted text effect in this thumbnail um, the text was set to exclusion the circles are set to exclusion, um, but everything else is just plain and simple. And again, there's a lot of possibilities with this effect, so just play around with it. Um, as you can see, it, it only takes a few minutes to make a design that looks really pretty cool.